Welcome to Land House. Today I'm going to be building some new shelves down in the off-grid tool shed that I just completed. The shelves are going to look a lot like this right here. They're going to be mounted to the studs. They'll have triangular bracing with some 2x4s coming out and then plywood on top. I have found these to be nice and strong and should do quite well for what I have planned down in the off-grid tool shed. Now I am super excited to get this set of shelves installed because this piece of plywood has been here in my workshop for about six months and it takes up so much room. So this is pretty much just going to be a casual hangout with me kind of video. We're going to rip this down and cut a whole bunch of two by fours and hang shelves up down there in the shed. So let's go ahead and get started. I gotta move all this stuff here. So the gym in my local town closed for the whole virus deal back in uh, March and I had not worked out uh, basically since it closed and I started back this week boy I'm sore uh, it's really good though but uh, it's gonna make moving this giant piece of plywood a real challenge here Yeah, I work legs today and I'm feeling it. That's a decent looking piece of plywood. Okay, uh, so yesterday evening I was out here working and I ran the battery down to 12.4. Uh, and I think it was back up to 13.7 or something. Yeah, 13.7. So this whole system is working well. Definitely going to enclose it here in a little box to make sure nobody touches any of that. Uh, okay, so I have already done some shelves over here and I made them kind of at this height so that uh, the four-wheeler can ride up under here and hopefully still store a bunch of stuff. So uh, ram pump stuff and then uh, Christmas ornaments and decorations and all that. Gotta have those. Okay, uh, so let's go ahead and get started. I've got oh, my template piece cut out already here. And I did this little, I don't know what you call that, chamfer or something. And uh, it's 23 inches so that when uh, you put your two foot plywood on top, it doesn't extend there and it should be plenty strong. Now for these shelves, I only made, what were those, six, seven, eight inches? I can't remember, uh, for the triangles. Uh, so I'm not gonna put a whole lot of weight here on this side, which will be wall, uh, like uh, ceiling to floor shelves. I'm gonna do longer or bigger triangles for better support. And because it's gonna have a lot of heavy boxes, kind of like uh, these, I'm going to probably even have to put a couple of supports on the front. It won't look as nice, but it will be much stronger. Okay, let's get to work. <sighs> okay. So, with these support 2x4s, well actually all of this build is very repetitive and it gets kind of uh, boring after a while, but I've got my template here with that little chamfer piece on there and I'm just going to set that down on my 2x4, line everything up, and then on the end I can make that mark there. Come back over here and mark there. So I'm gonna cut out uh, this little triangle piece here and then this piece here. Of course, putting on earplugs. Now, I'm gonna have to have a bunch of these. So uh, I only have two two by fours today. Uh, so we'll make what we can and just get the first uh, top shelf done and move from there. But uh, I'll just show you one portion of each uh, step here and we will yeah, fast forward oops <laughs> I make it a lot easier if I cut this piece first that one is not necessary but I think it looks a whole lot better when you add that little decorative cut to it this is actually my first video of the year 
and it is January 22nd when I'm filming this. Uh, so I had filmed a bunch of videos with the Playhouse and then the uh, building of this tool shed and I got to take about a month and a half of just break. <laughs> I've been making videos for what, eight, nine years now? So it's kind of nice. Uh, this thing, this whole shed, working out very nicely. Uh, see how pretty this back corner looks? That is going to be a new YouTube channel background that I am currently building. Uh, so that's kind of fun. But uh, by the way, if you're watching this video on how to build shelves for your shed, I have a link in the description to a very straightforward and how-to kind of video for this. Uh, this is just kind of a hangout with me today. I also wanted to say I went to see my CPA for taxes. Um, the business did pretty good this year, enough that I'm going to uh, have to incorporate the uh, business. So. Um, basically, if you incorporate, like so with an LLC, uh, a C-Corp pass-through basically, you uh, are responsible for all the taxes. It's 15.3% of your profits on the business. Ouch. It's basically just the self-employment tax because you are paying both the business side and the employee side. And so it's painful. Uh, it's a lot of money. When you incorporate with uh, chapter, uh, subchapter S, then you get to um, basically pay the 7% instead of uh, 15, which is pretty cool. Um, a whole lot more paperwork that I have to do, quarterly tax filing, and I have to um, actually pay myself a wage to have a W-2, and all of that fun stuff. So uh, when you're just watching the videos, there's a whole lot more stuff going on in the background that I'm having to deal with and uh, learn about. Okay, uh, if you're still here, let's get back to work uh, on cutting the next step. So I'm gonna cut this in half, rip it down, and that will give us two different eight foot shelves. And then I'm gonna use some of this treated plywood over here. Uh, probably going to cut this piece in half and whatever that uh, comes out to be will be the size of our triangles. So basically we'll get, you know, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, however many we can out of that. And I'll have this one as well. And there's one more piece of this plywood up in the workshop. And hopefully that'll get us good here for this. So uh, I'm going to cut the rest of these support pieces without you because you've already seen it once. And now we can jump into, let's rip down some plywood. I had saved all these two by six scraps whenever I built this place. You never know when you need them. So for today, they're gonna be blocking or uh, I guess support for the uh, plywood. Okay, so we're looking for two feet for this piece. And there we have two eight foot sections, two foot wide. Should be nice to have those for shelves. In the previous build, I did two sections of four, but it'll basically look just like this whenever it is over here. And I'm gonna have one pretty high up top and then drop down until there's one close to the floor, but enough to put some stuff down there. I'm not sure how much moisture is gonna be rising up from the bottom, so I have to be sure whatever I put down there uh, doesn't uh, get affected by moisture. Okay, I found that I had a third piece of this plywood, and so uh, it's 20 inches. So I'm just going to take this and rip it down in half to 10 inch, and uh, that will give us a bunch of squares in here uh, that we can cut into triangles for supports, and then we'll have to cut uh, one or two of those over there. All right, 10 inches here. I'm just gonna rip this in half down here and then we'll walk this up to the shop where I have a compound miter saw that will be able to uh, make our triangles and uh, it's gonna be a lot easier than using this battery powered circular saw down here. 
So the idea behind cutting these triangles is I'm going to mark every 10 inches. Now I'm just uh, making sure that line goes all the way across at those 10 inch marks. I can take my square and with the 45 degree and place that on just on the corner of this one here and uh, draw out that diagonal line and hopefully that will give me two triangles that are close enough to equal that they will support well on our shelves down there. All right first I'm going to cut out these squares and then we'll use a, uh, a piece of wood to hold down one of these while we cut the diagonal. I've got a 1x4 scrap that I'm going to use to cut these out here and I should be able to just push down on this and hold it the uh, board from moving around. Okay, there we go. Two 10 inch triangles that will be used as the supports. I have a bunch more of these to make, so I'm gonna do that without you real quick. I've got uh, this piece. I think I'm just gonna cut that one out. It'll give us 16, and that'll be enough to get our uh, at least one shelf done for today. Man, I haven't seen this side of the shop in six months. Once I get this piece right here uh, cut down to go up in here, I will have uh, even more space. But anyway, that's for a different video. One stack of triangles. So now we are ready to get this shelving system installed. Uh, because it's a little bit dark in here, I purchased this new Weir filming light. If you've been with the channel for long, you know what my other lights used to look like. They were about five times that big. They were just massive. Anyway, this thing will be able to produce enough light for us to work in here. Now, the stages of getting these shelves installed starts off with first picking out where you want the shelf to uh, be as far as height goes. And then you put the first triangle and then you do the next triangle and the next triangle. And then I put glue on here and screw those in. And it's a very tedious and very repetitive. So let's go ahead and do the first full block and then I will whip through the rest of these. Okay, finally the prep work is done. Let's get this on the wall. With my triangles, on one side of six of them, I'm gonna use some two inch screws, and these will go one here in a corner. Just get them started. Okay, and then the other side, I'm going to Put one just down here somewhere. As long as it's within three and a half inches, should be good. And then the other one we'll put over here on this corner. Okay. And that I'm gonna do the same thing on all six of these. Now with the other six, I'm gonna do the opposite side. So I did the side over here straight up and down. Now I'm gonna do this side up and down and then kind of stagger these a little bit. So what I want to do is also use the two and a half inch screws just to make sure it gives a much better bite whenever I put this up on the wall. I'm gonna add more screws than this and some super glue so it should be plenty strong enough. So on the top two shelves, I want to give 12 inches or one foot of space and then I'll add a little bit more space as I go down. So I actually need to mark at uh, 12 and three quarter inch here. Let's come down to that place. Okay, let's just say that is our spot right there. So everything from this point out will be level and plumb to that spot. Here's one of the plywood triangles with the two inch screws, the smaller ones. I want to put wood glue on this back corner here. So, yeah, I'll let this sit in the sun for a second to warm up since it is a bit chilly out today. Okay, that should be sufficient for what we're doing here. I'm gonna flip this side up that has the wood glue and I want to Come back so that the top of the triangle is at that line. 
And let's see, I'm gonna put the top screw in real quick. Now I want to take a level. Yeah. And come out this way. And make sure we can level this. Which surprisingly that is exactly where I want it right there. Nice. Put the bottom one in. Next, I've got one of the supports. I'm putting some glue here on this end piece and just enough to let it adhere nicely. And we're gonna step back over here and get this installed. I think on future pieces, I'll put more wood glue than that, but it'll be enough here. So I'm just going to stick this up here and I'm gonna make sure it's flush or slightly above the top. And I'm just gonna put this back screw in here. And then once again, I need to use my level to uh, make sure this is where it needs to be. Whoops, I'm going the wrong way. Okay, now stepping up to the triangle that has the two and a half inch, I want to put wood glue behind these two screws and then kind of zigzag along over here. So, let's do that. Zigzag there, and then come down this edge here, and now it's ready to be installed. Now this triangle, as long as it doesn't exceed the top of the two by four, can just go anywhere in here. And I like to kind of make sure it matches the depth of the other one. So it has kind of a smooth plate here, but I'm just making sure that it's close to the top, but not exceeding. And then I'm just gonna screw all of that in here so it's nice and secure. As you can see, every step from here on out is gonna be extremely repetitive. So I'm not gonna bore you with showing you any more of that install. One thing I am gonna do is come back and put another screw or two in these on both sides, and that will make this very strong. Now one thing I was a little bit concerned about is if I go adding, you know, 600 pounds on these shelves, it may have issues with trying to pull the walls. So what I'm gonna do is, I think maybe at least on the corners or and once in the middle, I will probably install uh, blocking. So for instance, I've got scrap two by fours down there. So it will go to the ground and then kind of each section of new shelf will have an additional uh, support. So it'll basically be supported from the wall mostly and then those support beams coming down out here two feet. I think it's worth mentioning that the first triangle support piece is by far the easiest because you just put it up there uh, level. The next one and all the others have to match up with this and all the way out here as well. So uh, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to use impact driver, a level, and hold this all at the same time, and it's not fun. So, I'm going to go ahead and put this in a general area of where it should be. Let's go right about here. That's going to be too high. Okay, about right there, maybe. And then I'm going to take my level, and it's too high still, so I'm going to drop that down. So I'm going to go ahead and put one screw in now that it's leveled across the top. So now I have to make sure that it is still level here and then level this one out over this way. I went out to swim with my daughter for a while and uh, my light's about gone. So I was looking at this corner over here. I don't think that I'm going to be able to get the support piece in here with the triangle in the back. I could do this side. But you know what, it's so close to this, I think I'm just gonna take one of those two by fours and mount it straight onto this, and it'll just rest on that. It'll be nice and strong that way. So, um, you know, we might as well use the, uh, the decorative piece since we have it. So, go ahead and take that, and I'm just gonna yeah, plop it up there as if it were a piece. Now it's time to put that first sheet of plywood up there. Okay, let's see how well this fits up here. 
I think bracing the corner like I did is going to really be nice for support. Cool. All right. It does have an overhang, but I think it's going to be just fine. It doesn't quite reach the next stud, so that's as good as we're going to get there. Uh, but yeah, this corner piece right here, bloop, will give that some nice support in that back corner. Now on my other shelves, I found that if I use a couple of these two inch screws here to tie into the support with the plywood, it really holds this into place and makes it even stronger. So I'm gonna go ahead and put one in the back, one in the front on each of these, and that will lock all of that down. And then the last thing I have to do is come back and fill in each of these blurry triangles. There we go. Fill in uh, two screws and all of those, and it just makes it that much stronger. Well, there is the finished first shelf. It is quite strong. I've not uh, tried to do a chin up on it yet, but I have a feeling it'll be just fine if I do. And it's got uh, approximately 12 inches here between this top beam and the uh, the platform there. So let's go ahead and put some weight up there. Now, as you can see, ugh, I have a lot more work to do. I'm probably gonna put five in here total. And so I'm gonna do a lot more of what we just did over the next month or so. Um, because I have got probably, oh, I don't know, 40, 50 boxes that will have to go here. And then they'll have some over there. And I'll probably put some uh, over here as well. And I don't know, I may be able to get one little shelf up there as well. Basically, I've got a lot of parts that I am purchasing for water pumps for the summer. And uh, also just trying to have bulk so that I can uh, deliver quicker and I have to wait on parts to come in. An issue I had in 2020, a lot of people weren't working as you uh, know. And so parts were hard to come by. And sometimes I was scrambling to get stuff. So anyway, um, let's go ahead and throw a box up here. Whatever 17 oh, kilograms is, that's what that box weighs. Yeah. I can probably turn these up and have even more storage on this top shelf. But anyway, uh, a lot of my boxes are 10 inches tall, like that one. And it's gonna do good to have that space up there. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I am, I have a cold, you, I'm sure you could tell. And uh, just been taking it easy, enjoying a little time off from YouTube, even though I am still posting uh, 34 videos in a row. <laughs> Worked hard to get all that ready. Uh, yeah, so the shed is working quite well. I'm very pleased with it. And I'm really excited to be getting the new YouTube channel up and running that will be uh, back here in this back corner. Uh, it's gonna be fun. Uh, if you don't know when you're watching that channel, what's uh, behind the camera, you know, you got four wheeler storage, uh, you know, shelves, and then it'll look kind of fancy over there in that back corner. All right, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.